welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. Today we're going to discover something really cool. How to use acoustic guitars to add muscle to your rock tracks. Acoustic guitars and rock tracks? Yes. Let's dive in. So it might be counterintuitive when you're layering a production and you've got all these electric guitars cranking and other instruments, the drums are pumping, the bass is going. It's not necessarily the first thing most, most producers and artists think of to add acoustic guitars to add muscle to the track. But there are some amazing effects that you can get. One of the things that happens is it adds more woody realness to the track. So texture, you know, compared to the electrics, right? You bring in the acoustics and suddenly there's, there's this wood quality to it. Another thing is that where acoustic guitars sit in the frequency range tends to be pushing in the upper mid range in most cases, especially if you use a fairly aggressive guitar like a dreadnought, right? Where there's a lot of, of bite in the upper mid range of certain, you know, larger guitars. So that bite can be really powerful. You know, the example I always think of when it comes to acoustic guitars driving a really aggressive rock track, Street Fighting Man by the Rolling Stones. Check this out. So Keith recorded that acoustic into a cheap little cassette player that was overloading, and then they took that track from the cassette and brought it into the master. Love that kind of stuff. So in a sense, that's what we're doing here, taking this song, Time of the Season, which you know is a classic by the zombies. It's one that's you know been around forever, but we want to bring something new to it, right? So one of the things we're doing is creating this sort of textural rock approach to it. And there's a lot of different things playing on this. Not only are there multiple electric guitars, bass, drums, you know, sort of the usual suspects. But there's a ton of layered vocals. I really wanna know it's the time of the season for Mellotron flutes. We've got a lap steel playing on the choruses. So there, there's all these layers. The thing that I noticed, I was listening to this and thinking something's missing, you know, what's missing? And I thought it's acoustic guitar. And one of the reasons is because with an acoustic, you've got so many things you can do that will change the way people are feeling. They'll, it, it'll excite the ear and change it up. So instead of having a rock track that just goes straight through, which frankly, most people get bored with after three, four minutes, the acoustic can be the textural shift that you need. So in the Cosmic Spin version of Time of the Season, we set it up with four bars straight ahead rock. And at that point, the way it's been sounding has been to simply have the drums, bass, and vocals be the only things that are happening. It's the time of the season. So something that I really talk about fairly often in these tutorials, when you're recording and producing something, it's really important to think of each instrument and the part it plays. The less you simply have every instrument just chunking along and, and sort of strumming and keeping the rhythm going, the more you let each instrument play a unique part and not take up too much space in the mix, the richer your productions will become. And it, for the listener, it's awesome because they're able to say, oh, cool, listen to that little acoustic part. Oh, listen to this part. They, there's something for their ear and their attention to go to, and it's different things all the time. So as they come back, they get rewarded. Every time they come back, they hear something new. So when you first pick up an acoustic, you might be tempted to just play along with the song. You know, it'd be... That's what I would urge you to avoid. But what if we added the acoustic guitar 
almost as a pad, as something that simply fills space and, and holds a sustained chord while the vocals do their thing. So what I'm going to be doing is literally playing a sustained chord. I'm not even going to be playing the passing chord, which would be that. I'm just going to play this. And go to there, and then... So see what I've done there. I'm just playing an E, all fifths up here at the seventh fret. No third in there. There's that's not in there. And then I'm going to a C, a modified C with a bunch of strings ringing open, and then to the, another E, fifths only, just E B E B E B. So by sticking to fifths, the acoustic guitar has a certain ambiguous role, and that's what I want it to play in the song. It's the time. So another aspect of using acoustics in a rock environment is to say, how can I build what the acoustic guitar is doing? So one way to do it is to let chords ring open, for example. That's what I'm doing on the first verse. Then when it comes to the second verse, I'm actually playing the passing chords. I'm still letting them ring, but I'm going like that. And then you can selectively start adding rhythmic accents to it. That kind of thing. So once you've recorded a part that sits nicely in the mix, what you'll want to do is go back and record another part, basically playing the same thing. Now, just the nature of the way we all play, you're going to do some things a little bit differently, right? You might play a little ahead, a little behind the beat. The guitar might be a little bit detuned from the environmental factors, and that's all okay. We want there to be a little bit of difference, a subtle difference between the first acoustic guitar part and the second. That way, when we spread them out in the mix, we've got this cool thing. You get, you get a little shimmery effect. If they're both tuned just perfectly and they play identically, there's not very much interest from right to left. But if there's a little bit of difference between them, you get a more rich texture. So don't be afraid of doing subtle differences between the first pass and the second pass. It'll actually be cool. It's the time of the season When the love runs out So the last choice you're going to have to make then is when to have just one acoustic playing and when to bring in both acoustics. Your choice. That's the beautiful thing. There's really no science to this. It's just an art. And it's something that you get to decide as you go along. But I'll tell you, it is fun. And acoustics are going to add texture and muscle to your rock tracks in ways that will really surprise you. That's it for today. Really happy to share these kind of tips and many, many more things. I do song blow-ups. I do gear reviews. I've got all kinds of stuff. Go to guitardiscoveries.com. You can check it all out. Please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified whenever new videos come out. I love doing this stuff, sharing tips and tricks. Please leave a comment. Tell me how you're using acoustic guitar in your tracks and you know the surprising things that it does for you and your music. See you next time. It's the time of the